The Texans continue to rebuild their burnt toast secondary. Now, if you guys haven't heard, the Texans were awarded Vernon Hargraves off the waiver wire. Now, Hargraves, he's a former first-round pick corner from the 2016 NFL Draft by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, Hargraves, he's been in the league for like four years. I believe this is fourth year. But he's only 24 years old. He's young. He's very young. And the Buccaneers did exercise his fifth year option in the offseason. Meaning the Texans don't just get him for the rest of this year. They get him for next season as well. So that's pretty huge in my opinion. Because after this season, J.J. is a free agent and hopefully he retires. And Roby's a free agent. The only, you know, corners on our roster would be Lonnie Johnson and Gary on Conley. So now with Hargraves, it gives you someone else to, you know, have here, I guess. If everything goes wrong, you're not able to re-sign Roby. Well, at least you have Conley, Hargraves, and Lonnie Johnson. So that's definitely a positive. Now, Hargraves. Why was he cut? I'm going to be real with you guys. He hasn't been good at all with the Buccaneers. He actually got benched before he got cut. And when Bruce Arians was asked why he got benched, Bruce Arians said lack of hustle. Like no hustle, whatever, in tackling. There was a certain play that we're talking about, but I watched the play and... Sure didn't look like lack of hustle to me, honestly. He just wasn't in position to catch the guy, but... I mean, it's whatever. I mean, Bruce Arians is one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. Like I've said time and time before. So, if Bruce Arians is saying this, like, I'm definitely, you know, taking it into consideration. But when it comes to something like that, sometimes a change of scenery is huge. For a player, you know, we saw Gary on Conley. You know, Oakland fans were saying he was trash. The Texans trade for him. He comes over here and, you know, he balls out. And he's been our best corner since like probably 2016 when AJ Boye was here. So, change of scenery can be huge. Scheme fit can also help a player. And the thing with Vernon Hargraves is he's a press man corner. Actually, he's a slot corner too. So he's a press man slot corner. And the Buccaneers had him playing outside with 10-yard cushions. Like that, that is just a misuse of talent. Now, like I said, if Bruce Arians said, you know, these things about Hargraves, I'm definitely taking into account. That's why I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys, oh my god, this guy is going to be so good for us. He's going to be exceptional. Our secondary is fixed. I'm not going to say that. But this guy was a first round pick for a reason. This pickup is a very low risk, high reward type of pickup. You know, we, we picked him up. If he sucks, oh well, we cut him, whatever. We picked him up. If he's good, then guess what? Our secondary problems are solved. Now, like I said, Hargraves has to be a slot corner. You guys know how I feel about Jonathan Joseph, you know. On the shorter side, he's like, what, 5'10, 5'11? Well, Hargraves, he's 5'10. So, him playing in the slot. That's where he kind of has to be, man. I wouldn't trust him going up against the bigger wide receivers. Like I said, he's 5'10". He should be on the inside playing the smaller receivers. And, you know, that also works well because the slot corners typically have to tackle more. And Hargraves, he can tackle. 
and he's a willing tackler. So, I think it's a good pickup. Like I said, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and guarantee anything, but it's a good pickup in the sense that it's a very low risk, high reward type of signing. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for today. Comment down below your opinions on Vernon Hargraves. And, yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.